Hello there, guys. This is Kirov speaking, and today I'm joined by none other than... A Daffy Flyer, the lead artist. So, we are going to build are something today? a little bit silly, I think. And <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> I, think you're, I think you're the expert on this one, being the um, resident physicist. So... Uh, I, I think so, yes. So, uh, this will be about uh, recreating uh, the Ford Nucleon engine, which, of course, is complete nonsense. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try anyway, um, and for this we will need to, let's say, a reasonable power figure. What can we say would that be? Oh, at least a thousand horsepower, maybe like 1500. Lots of horsepowers. 1500 sounds more like it, and we put it in a Renault Twingo, and then it will be like, go like hell. <laughs> oh yeah, and all the, all the cool yeah, kids drive nuclear-powered Renault Twingos, you know, so... Uh, I'm just a bit concerned about the lead shielding, so uh, we should incorporate it into the engine block, actually. Mm, uh, yeah, like you know, lead shielded stuff. Cast but iron yeah. with a coating of lead ought to do the trick. Um, yeah. Ooh, not 80s technology, we want some nice modern no, things. No, we want some, some more. Yes, that and would be awesome. And titanium improves to... everything. Yeah, you have to mix a bit of... Um, well, it should be... Uh, uranium tungsten, it really, but uh, <laughs> oh well, we don't close, know so. closest we've got in here, I think. Sadly. Yeah, close. damn it, just missed, uh, missed a trick there. Forge. I hope the pistons take this. Mm, we so, shall see. We shall see. Something um, modern there as well. Dual overhead cam for. Yes, we need to pump a lot of things through this one. So yeah, uh, let's go that. for for four valve that we have the option to go VVL. And exactly, BBT. and a nice bomb-proof cast iron head again. Or <laughs> do the trick. We Should, really need this one. Shouldn't <laughs> yes. vaporize too often, and nope. <laughs> I'm sure you can compress uranium a fair bit. So yeah, thirteen and a half. Yes, but we need to check the technology as well. Otherwise, ah, uh, yes. the wreck will Quite blow true. up like Chernobyl. Uh, yeah. We don't so. want a Chernobyl engine, um, and nope. then we want some VVL. Lots of yes. cam, maybe. Yeah, eight or something. Yeah, yeah something like that. Seventy-five. Yeah. Oh, that's that's perfect. It's and now a very sport reactor. We so. need <laughs> yes. some nice. And uh, you need direct neutron injectors. Uh, yep. Uh, to make it work properly, and for every um, rod, we need a a throttle. Exactly, with some kind of um, graphite rod attached to the end of the throttle, no doubt. I'm sure that's how it would work. Yes. Um, so that we have a moderator inside, yes? Yes, um, and we want to irradiate everyone standing outside it, so a nice open intake should do the trick. Yes. Um, and, well, well um, the closest thing I've we're going to get is ultimate unleaded. Neutron and uranium fuel will be like um, 200 ron, but we don't have this here in this list, so let's get, just go for 100. And we probably want lots and of it. Mixture. Yes, we want a lot of things in there. Burning. Chain reacting. Oh, yes. Uh, and many revs. timing. Oh, yes. Um... Ignition mm. time, we want to blow up things rather sooner than later. So. I imagine <laughs> so it will flow up rather quickly, so yes. Excellent. <laughs> and right. we'll let it yeah, rev a that lot. Should be, that should do perfect. No Aspiration will come where you're working things, but yeah. And um, shiny things, please. Yes, we've got to loudly and violently irradiate everybody in the vicinity, so lots of exhausts, <laughs> big ones. <laughs> Sadly, we don't have cooling towers, but this is as close as we'll get, don't, I think. Don't. Right. We just pretend those eight pipes up there are uh, eight. They do actually there. look a bit like scary carbon fiber cooling towers. Okay. <laughs> they do. They do. Let's <laughs> put on our lead helmets and um, cover our privates and fire it up. Yeah. Okay, then I would say make it naked. Okay, remove all the radiation shielding because you know that's really safe. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we, um, we oh, just that say it's suitably dangerous. It does and it looks like it's going to flip over and pull the stand through the side of the wall, so that's a good start. That's a good start. <laughs> oh, it's going critical or something. Yeah, we think it's 
Great success! Yeah. I would say so, yeah. Oh, Even think... though uh, a bottom end part is uh, reducing its lifespan. So <laughs> Funny <laughs> that. It's distance in between you. <laughs> and everybody in the test cell now has radiation poisoning. Yay! Yay! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> well, I hope you, hope you enjoyed this slightly frivolous video, but um, um, V8's coming July the 4th and you can build your own silly powerful V8s. Possibly not nuclear-powered, though. <laughs> exactly. Okay, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.